Yo yo it's lightning and today I have a stasis build for you guys I call the eternal glacial hunter. The gameplay is of this build in master lost sectors. I'm making this video right before season 22 comes out so save this build because it's only gonna get even better. Our main exotic is renewal grasp for an improved dust field grenade that also provides extra damage resistance plus in season 22 this will no longer increase the dust field grenade cooldown. Our aspects are Touch of Winter and Grim Harvest for an even bigger dust field and the ability to spawn stasis shards from killing slowed or frozen targets. Gamblers dodge so you can refund your melee when dodging near targets. And the fragments Whisper of Durance, Chains, Shards, Rhyme, and Fissures for a longer lasting slow effect, extra damage resistance while standing near stasis crystals and frozen targets, faster grenade recharge from destroying a stasis crystal, health from shard pickups, and a larger blast radius that deals more damage when destroying stasis crystals and frozen targets. For weapons I have the Deliverance Fusion Rifle with Demolitionist and Chill Clip, and even though Chill Clip is getting a nerf, with Demo providing 20% grenade energy on special weapon kills and a faster overall recharge on your cold snap grenade, you'll still be able to freeze absolutely everything. My energy weapon is a wave frame grenade launcher. Any of them will work, but personally, I'm using the explosive personality because it can roll with auto loading holster and unrelenting for health regeneration. Plus, it has the origin trait land tank, which makes you even more tanky after getting just a couple of kills. And lastly, the winter bite exotic glaive. This will be able to freeze and shatter large groups of adds while also providing added damage resistance if needed while blocking with the glaive. And because the melee doesn't consume ammo with the glaive, you can switch to it when you're low on special ammo and spawn more in. And even though Bungie will nerf double special, that doesn't mean this build cares because they aren't affecting the special ammo drop rate. The YouTuber Prelapse has a very in-depth look on how ammo drops work in Destiny 2. If you watch his video, How to Manipulate Ammo Drops in Destiny, you too will learn how to spawn ammo seemingly at will. For stats, make sure to get 100 in Resilience and Discipline for increased health and damage resistance and the shortest possible cooldown for your grenade. Now, going into armor mods, I have hands-on for bonus super energy on melee kills, a heavy ammo finder, and a siphon mod that matches my waveframe. Impact induction to reduce grenade cooldown from melee attacks, heavy handed to spawn orbs of power in from powered melee kills, and focusing strike to reduce dodge cooldown from melee attacks. Two elemental resistance mods of your choice, and the emergency reinforcement mod for extra damage resistance if your shield breaks. Innervation and recuperation to further reduce grenade cooldown and instantly gain health on orb pickup, and stacks on stacks to max out your armor charge meter faster. Bomber to reduce grenade cooldown after a dodge, reaper to spawn an orb after a dodge, and explosive finisher to instantly recharge a portion of your grenade energy after finishing an enemy. The gameplay loop for this build starts by throwing your grenade and freezing everything inside, then using your wave frame to clear out all the adds, spawning an orb of power in the process, followed by your melee to regen a portion of your grenade energy, then dodge near some enemies to recharge your melee. Next use your deliverance and get kills to recharge your grenade energy, and also spawn an orb because of the reaper mod. Try to also get melee kills to further spawn in more orbs of power. With this rotation you should be at 3 armor charge, allowing you to finish an enemy to refund a huge portion of your grenade back, and with the incredibly fast recharge rate of your grenade, you'll be able to consistently lock down the battlefield. Switch to the winter bite if you need to freeze a large group of enemies, receive damage resistance, or to spawn special ammo in. With this build you won't be doing the most DPS, but the survivability is unmatched and great for endgame content. And that's the Eternal Glacial Hunter build. Let me know your thoughts in the comments, subscribe for more, and thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.